Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. So Serverless Conf is on in just two weeks time. We only have a few tickets left. AWS introduced lifecycle management for EBS snapshots. EFS now supports provision throughput. AWS Deep Lens Challenge now has begun. And we announced the winner of Guru of the Week. I'm Ryan Krunenberg and you're watching AWS This Week. So Serverless Conf San Francisco is just a couple of weeks away and it's running from the 29th of July through to the 1st of August with the main conference running on the 31st of July and the 1st of August. It's at the Regency Center in San Francisco and speakers include people like Adrian Cockcroft, James Beswick, Tim Wagner, Linda Nichols, Erica Windish, Simon Woodley and many, many more. There's only a few tickets left so if you want to go check out the link below serverlessconf.io. So AWS have introduced lifecycle management for EBS snapshots and it allows you to automate the creation, retention and deletion of your EBS volumes. So instead of creating snapshots manually and then deleting them manually, you simply create a policy and you tell this policy which volumes are to be snapshotted. You then set a retention model and you let data lifecycle manager do the rest. So EFS now supports provision throughput. Previously, the amount of throughput an application could demand from Amazon EFS was directly tied to the amount of data stored in the file system. So the greater the data, the more throughput you could burst to. Now with provision throughput, applications throughput requirements greater than those allowed by Amazon's EFS default throughput bursting model can achieve the same throughput levels required immediately and consistently independent of the amount of data that you have on AWS. So AWS have launched a deep lens challenge and there's going to be eight challenges in total and each challenge will run for two weeks. So this fortnight's challenge is to use deep lens to create a project that drives inclusion, overcomes barriers and strengthens the bonds between people of all abilities. And you could create a project that looks at physical accessibility of buildings, provide audio guidance using poly for people with impaired sight or create educational projects for children with learning disabilities. Any project that supports inclusivity is welcome. So to find out more, please visit the link below. So on to Guru of the Week, and this week's correct answer was B. And the winner is Sheikh Ilyas. He's a lead software engineer working at Incom Canada. Sheikh, we've got a t-shirt, sticker, and hand side card out to you in the post, and you're in the draw to win a ticket to reInvent for 2019. The new question is now live on our Facebook page. The link is below. So that's it from me. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next week.